hi guys welcome to all and in this today's video we are going to see about insert append and delete operations in numpy array these are very very extreme uh, important operation that we encounter every times while doing mathematical and operations in machine learning okay so like before that let me import numpy package by using import keyword okay yeah so let's first do about how we can do appending with all the small small coding concepts here so before that let me i have to create one numpy array using np.array and we are using the list elements like 1 2 3 4 okay let me print it guys yeah so okay you have seen right so in the first toss let let me append 45 to the array so how can we do that so we can use np.append to append any elements to the numpy array so we have to provide what is the name of the variable name of numpy array and what value we have to insert okay let me execute it guys yeah yeah, you can see that the differences between parent array and uh, appending array. Yeah, you can see the 1, 2, 3, 4 is changes to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 145, sorry. Yeah, so and, test, and the second toss, let me append multiple values to the array. So till now we have seen how to append single value, right? So appending multiple values also we have to see. So like we can use same np dot append and we have to provide the variable name of numpy array and we have to pass all the multiple elements in a list format so that we can append multiple values yeah let me execute it guys yeah so you can see right 1 2 3 4 and 100 150 and 80 got appended to the numpy array okay yeah so one thing i want to uh, note to note to you guys like np.append does not update update the original array uh, because it only print returns like it don't change the parent array okay let me show you demonstrate you how this is gonna happening okay let me print the original array yeah you can see right one two three four even though we have appended all the elements it doesn't not include it into the original parent array okay so to uh, to do the changes permanently we have to create any another variable name just like that and we have to use append function so let me execute it guys and let me show you yeah, you can see that the changes are made permanently because I am assigning the np.append to another variable name. Okay, now I can uh, do the same thing like adding multiple values, multiple uh, elements at the same time to the numpy array. Okay, let me execute it guys. Yeah, you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 45, all the elements are appended to the numpy array. Okay, here the changes are done permanently. Okay, you got much clarity, right? How to append? The main important thing is you have to use np.append and when you are using single value uh, to append, you can directly use it. But when, uh, when you are using multiple values to append, you have to pause within the list. Okay. Yeah. With all these things, let me introduce you another concept like insertion. Okay. Like uh, how we can do appending in two dimensional array. So you can here see that one, two, three, four, and the two dimensional array is created by using np.array. Same like as above. Yeah. You can see the two dimensional array is created. Okay. Now, if I want to add new row to the matrix, let's see how we can do that. So, same, we have to use np.append uh, NP and we have to uh, use the variable name and we have to uh, put the row value we want to insert, like the elements, and we have to mention axis equals to 0 here. So, always keep in mind, we need to mention axis equal to 0 for appending rows. Okay. Let me print it and you can get much clarity now. Okay. You can see, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6 and in the loss it got appended like a row, new row, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Now let me add new column to the matrix. So same here, we have, we want to use axis equals to 1 uh, for appending uh, column values. Okay. Yeah, same variable name and here we are posing 10 in a separate list format because we are appending columns, right? So it is appending uh, each uh, value to the row. So I am posing list within list. Okay. And we need to mention axis equals to 1 here. Let me print uh, the new array here. Yeah, you can see right 1, 2, 3, and uh, 10. Like uh, uh, this is the parent array, parent matrix. And for this, we are adding column, new column. Okay, you, co you got to see the changes, right? Yeah. So now let's go and see how we can insert any element at particular position into the arrays. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let us see first in one dimensional. Okay. The general format is first we have to provide the array name and the index at which we want to insert and the value we want to insert. Okay. Let's first create a new array by using np.array. Okay. With uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 elements. Yeah. Let's let execute it and you can see the output. Okay. 
So the first task what I want to do is let inserting minus 100 at first position. Okay, uh, we can do like this right? first we can do np dot insert we have to call and we have to provide the variable name and this one is like index and this is the value. Okay, we have discussed about general format right array index and value. Let us execute this statement so that you can get much clarity. Yeah, you can see right the this is the original array and this is the updated one. So at the index one we got minus 100. Okay, and let do let's see how we can do in two dimensional. Okay. So the general format is and same like array and index to add and on the, on the value we have to provide and same this is axis. Axis plays a key role Well, we are performing operation in two dimensional. You got clarity right? Axis equal to 0 is for rows and axis equals to 1 is for columns. Let me create one two dimensional array and store it in array B. Yeah, you can see right? So now let me insert uh, one, new, uh, one new row at index 1. Okay. Uh, we can see like we can use np.insert and I am providing the numpy array name and I am providing the index and also providing the row values and also axis equals to 1 specifying I want to add at rows. Okay, let execute and see the changes so that we get much clarity. Okay, you can see right 1, 2, 3 and after that at index 1 uh, that means index uh, row 1 we can see 120, 40 and 80 and after that 44, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 yeah, um, we can see sequentially. Okay, you got much clarity right how to end, uh, append new rows to a numpy matrix or certain positions. Okay, with that let's see how we can do delete operations. Okay, um, first let's see uh, how we can do it one, one dimension and the general format is we have to provide array name and index to delete. This is simple. Okay, let me create the same like a new array. Okay, now let me that how can we delete it? We, can, we want to use np.delete. Okay. Like uh, in the same way we have used np.insert and np.append. Uh, okay. We can use np.delete. Okay. We have want to provide ver uh, variable name, numpy array name and the position. Now let's see. Yeah. You can see that right. Uh, uh, three got deleted here. Okay. Yeah. So we can see how can we do in two dimension uh, array. Okay. The general format is we have to provide array name which row or column we want to delete and axis same like axis equals 0 uh, means rows and axis equals to 1 means columns let me create one two dimensional array yeah that's got created and now let's delete the second row in the matrix b so that means second row means uh, we want to like uh, indexing start from 0 right we want to specify 1 because 2 minus 1 okay np.delete array name and we were providing the index and axis equals to 0 means rows yeah so you can see right 4, 5, 6 got deleted. Okay. Now let's see how we can delete columns. Okay. And same here we have to uh, change axis equals to 1. Yeah. So from parent you can see the changes right. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8 is only present. And we are deleting the first column. Okay. You got much clarity right. With all these things we have understood about deletion and insertion and also appending in numpy address yeah thank you guys thanks for your time